Hi there. Today we are going to talk about the need of a motor driver IC in your autonomous robot. May it be line follower robot, may it be an obstacle or detection and avoidance robot. You will be needing uh, something called as the motor driver IC. Okay. So we will see why do we need that motor driver IC first of all and how does it work or where does it come in the actual block diagram of your robot. Okay. Let's say you you have sensors in your robot right these are the sensors sensors will give an output to, uh, output voltage and uh, this is your cpu that is a controller microcontroller uh, or a logic gate design okay which will make you logical decisions and give you outputs which will be of 5 volt dc right 5 volt standard dc right 5 volt or 0 volt for low right so you uh, the most important thing that you need to know here is the CPU that is a microcontroller or a micro a logical unit will give you 5 or 0 volt of voltage but the thing is the current driving capacity of this unit will be of very very low capacity okay so if you are gonna connect your motors directly to here you're gonna burn out this whole portion of your autonomous robot because all because you it will be knowing that actually drain a lot of current okay when a DC motor is connected directly here so all the current from here will be drained out to the DC motor from the DC uh, motors so you will essentially burn out everything in your robot to avoid that your sensor unit your CPU and then from getting the output from the CPU you connect it to a motor driver IC okay uh, standard motor driver IC for a hobby hobbyist robo robot maker will be the L2 93D IC okay this is a standard and a very low cost uh, motor driver IC which will give you reliable motor outputs okay so after getting outputs from your controller or logic board you just give the outputs to inputs of motor driver IC circuit uh, like this one and you connect your 12 volt power supply 12 volt or 24 volt power supply directly to this one that is DC to this board here and this board will be able to drive all your DC motors it can drive up to 4 DC motors in a H bridge form okay so it can drive current capacities up to 1 amperes so this is the reason why we need a motor driver circuit in your autonomous robot to drive the DC motors with high current and a high voltage essentially a high power driving circuit okay to know more about the 893 d uh, and uh, how it is actually connected and all so please go through our post below that I have written in the Neurogoody blog and uh, this was a okay so I'll see you soon in another video till then see ya bye